I call Sandra Gowdy. Mr Speaker, I'm, I'm pleased to speak on corrections and can I say that it was an absolute godsend that National was voted into government and that they had a new minister and an excellent minister in the Honourable Judith Collins. And can I just, I just cite one of the press releases she put out on coming into office as the new minister saying that the pressure on prisons was a shameful Labour legacy and that ongoing pressure on capacity and New Zealand's prisons is testament to the failed corrections policies under the former Labour government. And that's what this national government had to contend with, a raft of failed policies right across the board and no less in corrections. Officials' advice was being ignored and the, the pressure on prison capacity and the probation service was absolutely pitiful. Well, I have to tell that opposition that under this leadership and an excellent minister, everything has completely turned around. For a kick-off, there's been a $1.4 billion increase in the budget. And what did they get under Labour? Sweet all, I have to tell you, the changes have been absolutely magnificent. Can I, can I start by just saying that, that under the estimates that the public-private partnerships have been a wonderful initiative and that's uh, been a big part of that budget increase, but the budget, but, uh, public-private partnerships are seeing a great new way of innovation and in dealing with our prisons and um, has been something that's to be applauded by the new minister uh, in vote corrections. And that's the implementation of the Wurri Prison Public Private Partnership and the contract man management of Mount Eden, which um, the Labour government didn't see fit to progress, which was unfortunate because they were being incredibly successful. One of the really exciting initiatives of the current minister is the Prisoner Skills and Employment Strategy, and that's on expanding the work-based training in prisons industries several successful examples that you will find in the facilities today. So they're building strong relationships with polytechs and institutes of technology and resulting in new practical training opp opportunities for prisoners. And this strategy provides for these relationships to be expanded and for new partnerships to be established. And literacy and numeracy training is also a key focus because we know that in our prisons that's one of the big, biggest problems that we have to contend with. And this has been taken very seriously by the current minister and making great strides in that regard. So once again, it's all good news for corrections and the staff are getting behind this, um, in this initiative. And they're also getting behind the other initiative of the new awards which uh, have been established by the minister and that's to recognise and promote honour and excellence in corrections. And, and corrections are very excited by this because they, they feel that their work is being valued, they're being backed and promoted and supported by their minister, and so those people that received the inaugural awards were absolutely delighted. Um, you know, this has been a very big initiative for them. So Sean Francis, it has, and Sean Francis and Miller Slade received the awards at the... Um, Corrections Officer Graduation Ceremony at Upper Huts, Limitaka Prison, and they were the first to receive that award. And she, she the minister, established the award to recognise newly graduated corrections officers who have demonstrated outstanding achievement. And so that's just one way of just saying thank you to the corrections officers because they do such an outstanding job. It's a tough job, and they do that to help restore the public's faith and what happens in corrections and looking after uh, the safety and protection of our citizens. And I think that's um, an eminently uh, good way to be. Can I also talk about the containers? You know, we're in, a, we're in a crisis in terms of housing our prisoners and the container units were opened and that averted that crisis. We had a reporter go and spend a night in one of those containers and they found it exceedingly comfortable uh, and a great initiative, and they applauded. This reporter actually applauded uh, that initiative by the Corrections Minister. And can I say those containers are, are quite fantastic, and when you see the pictures that were presented at the Select Committee um, to give us a greater understanding of those, uh, they were absolutely excellent, and in actual fact, um, everybody agreed that.
probably just not the opposition. <clears throat>